Good morning. Uh, my name is Liv Penny. I'm the founder of Become. Uh, my background is Masters in Psychology, followed by a postgrad in Career Development. I've also spent 15 years um, managing some of the most innovative, creative and digital agencies in the world. And I'm also, not unimportantly, a mum. Now, Become is teaching kids the skills they'll need to navigate 21st century careers. Um, currently, career development focuses on a one-off decision towards the end of high school, as if that was going to set them off on a, on a path for life and it would be linear and stable. Now, I think there's been 95 sessions in the last three days about the future of work. We know it's not linear and stable, it's constantly changing and changing faster and faster. Uh, for an individual, we're seeing that change manifest as 71% of school leavers facing significant unplanned change within 18 months. So that initial decision is failing them very, very quickly. At that point, without the skills to navigate and course adjust, they're becoming stuck and lost and becoming part of the statistic around underemployment and unemployment of youth. Uh, now, for an individual, that stuck and lost feeling is hard. But um, to put some big numbers to that, if we could lift youth unemployment and underemployment back up to the rate of the, the rest of the adult population, it's estimated to contribute 155 billion to the US GDP in additional GDP. So it is a meaty problem. But we're interested in where the root of that problem is. Government policy, academic evidence all agree that current career development is too little, too late. US, Canada, Europe, UK, um, Australia and New Zealand all have a blueprint for career development that says this is wrong. Educational psychology tells us that in upper primary, people are already starting to narrow their aspirations and, 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 uh, and hopes based on gender and social stereotypes. And once they're gone, it's really hard to get them to reintroduce those ideas and thoughts. We also know that hope and engagement plummet uh, post grade five from 76% to 44% and that manifests in a decrease in academic engagement. But there is good news. If we can get in in this upper primary stage and actually give them the skills to conjure up a really positive vision of their future, it almost serves as a hook to pull them through. The, the kids who've got the skills to, to do that and have the hope and optimism to do it, uh, we see an increase in short-term academic engagement, so in more inspired learners, uh, social engagement, as well as long-term academic and vocational outcomes, which will shift that bigger problem that we just talked about. So the actual problem is that we know what's right, it's just not getting into practice. Our solution teaches the lifelong skills that people are going to need to course adjust again and again throughout their life. So it's shifting from a decision to teaching the skills. We're delivering it from the critical time, which is year five. And it actually reflects the dynamic reality of what's out there in the labour market, as well as the fact that they're going to keep changing and changing throughout their life. It's owned by the students, as it will have to be, so we really want them to take responsibility for it, but it connects the parents and teachers and really, as really valuable collaborators in the process. The product itself is a web and mobile app that they come back to each term to interact with, with the help of parents and teachers. It teaches them to, uh, on the first of you, work around that loop from understanding themselves. So it develops a really clear picture of who they are and who they're becoming using really interactive questions and quizzes that teach them about themselves. Once they've got that, they use that to launch into a starting point in where they should start to explore careers. And we want them to explore boldly and broadly and be excited about the new careers that are popping up. As they're exploring, we're telling them the most interesting thing about that career, whether it's likely to grow or shrink in the future, easy ways to try it out. So we want them to start exploring things, not wait till 16 to do two weeks of work experience. We want them to start going on these iterations and loops. So when they've done that, they come back and adapt their plans and go into another loop. So by the time they actual the first real decision looms, they're really experienced at knowing themselves and having a good view of what, they, what their life might be like. The business model we're selling to schools in a $30 per student model. Uh, that gives them direct online access to the student app and dashboard access for the teachers, which gives amazing insights into where each uh, child is in terms of exploration, decidedness, interest clusters, as well as you can imagine how that transforms parent-teacher interviews. 
uh, go-to-market strategy for schools. We're using a pincer strategy. We know how tough this is. Um, we're going, creating a community of teachers that are really um, progressive and into this space by giving them free uh, learning materials in the classroom and also working on top-down relationships with education departments and principals associations. We're also very interested in partners where, particularly student management systems, where the data and insights that become can give us on, um, on the whole student perspective can actually provide a really rich um, and sticky um, interface with that. Uh, the market size is enormous, even for these 10 to 14 year old um, initial focus. It's 27 million across those markets, I said, that have the same policies in place. And there's also massive scope to stretch both earlier and later once we've nailed this. Uh, we're pre-revenue at the moment. We've just done version two pilot. So in two schools um, in Sydney with 100 beta users who had an average session time of 12 minutes and their main criticism was we want more. Um, 15 pilot schools have already signed up for version three. Um, and then the Australian Principals Association is ready to roll out based on the pilot and, um, and we've had strong interest from Canadian um, Transitions Coalition as well. The team is myself and a superstar intern at the moment. I'm currently interviewing uh, tech co-founders um, and a fantastic advisory board across uh, global ed tech, e evidence for education, data and academia. So why now and why us? Because we stop before the specific pathways information, it means we can be globally scalable from day one. The future of work obviously is very top of mind, but there's very few answers apart from let's teach everybody to code. Nobody's really addressing these higher order skills. Uh, we've got access to leading academics IP, which is you know, on the advisory board, is part of the team um, and really cutting edge. And we'll be the first algorithm and platform to actually deliver what's career best practice um, to the public. So in summary, our children's careers are going to be very different to ours and become is making sure their career development is going to be different too. Thank you.